Dumb and Dumber. And yes, before you question it, this is a top 10 movie for me. I think Jeff Daniels and especially Jim Carrey are flat out hilarious in this movie. This is definitely my second favorite comedy movie of all time. Um, the, uh, my first will be on this list, probably right after this. I absolutely love this movie. Um, it actually has a plot, too, unlike most comedies where it's just, like, all around. But, yes, this actually is a plot, and it's a very, very funny movie. It's legitimately funny, got me cracking up, and it uses its PG-13 rating, um, to its, or not to its advantage, but it pushes the limits, and it's still hilarious. Love this movie. Recommend it to anyone who likes comedies. Joker. This is probably my favorite comic book movie of, of all time. Um, I'm not a really big superhero guy, but I have seen some comic book movies. Um, I really like Deadpool, but I don't think that makes my top ten. But Joker is very similar to another movie that will be on this list, and lots of people criticize it for almost copying it, which I don't see. Um, but I personally really like this movie. Jack, or J. Quinn Phoenix is a very good Joker. I don't think he's Heath Ledger level. I mean, I'm personally don't really like The Dark Knight. I find it kind of boring. Um, you guys can hate me down below for saying that, but I think that Joke, um, Jake Wood Phoenix is second best Joker, to be honest, and his performance is legendary in this film. The Shining. This is one of, personally one of my favorite Stanley Kubrick movies. Um, this is one of three you'll see on this list. Um, He's definitely my favorite director. Uh, what I personally love about this movie, it's definitely my favorite horror movie of all time. Um, I absolutely adore the cinematography. Um, his Stanley Kubrick, this is one of his best pieces. I've only seen three movies and from him, and all three of them are on this list. Um, and I personally really, really think that um, this is the greatest horror movie. And for all you Stephen King fans that didn't like it, you have to admit it was a phenomenal movie. Um, just from the all the cinem like hidden messages in it, like the how it's like just defines Stanley Kubrick's work. De definitely a ten out of ten. Jack Nicholson's performance is incredible, unbeatable, and Shelley Duvall, despite being abused on set, was very not sexually, but um, Stanley Kubrick, the director, um, for those who don't know, was yell at her um, for a better performance, and it was a pretty cruel but worked tactic. And great performances by everybody on set. Full Metal Jacket. This is definitely my second favorite Stanley Kubrick movie of all time. Um, behind what you'll see in a few, um, maybe like 30 seconds. Um, I love everyone's performance in this movie. Um, Matthew Mudine's performance is incredible um arlie ermies the drill instructor um and vince i don't remember his last name but private pile um his performance whoever portrayed him and everybody in this movie is insane the first half is definitely my one of my favorite segments of a movie of all time but i'm with the people that say the second half is kind of um dim and that's why it's this low on the list love this movie though Taxi Driver, the classic story of a man um, portrayed by Robert De Niro who does an excellent job of portraying a man who hates society and thinks the world revolves around him. Uh, it's about politics. Um, it's a very good movie. Um, Robert De Niro's performance is outstanding. Uh, I, f I think it, from what I remember, the story follows. I think he tries to do good and to, um, to change the view on him and society, and he tries to help a 12-year-old prostitute portrayed by Jody, Jody Foster, um, and yeah, I think that's what the, um, premise is, but other than that, it's a fantastic movie, I, before, I just assumed, because it was Martin Scorsese, it was mob movie, bruh. Borat, cultural learnings of America to benefit the inglorious nation of Kakistan. This, my friend, is my favorite comedy movie of all time, and this is one of my favorite movies of all time because it's unique, and it is a, as processes as a mockumentary, which is kind of like The Office, where it's like a fake documentary, 
But man, this movie is hilarious. This is I've never laughed before so much before in a movie. I always rewatch the clips from this movie. Um, the sequel sucked. Uh, at first I liked it, but now that I think of it, the sequel was dog shit compared to this. Um, but this movie is so funny. I would rewatch this so many times. I recommend this to everybody who likes comedy. This is far better than Dumb and Dumber. Well, maybe not far better, but I think it's better. Um, this is so funny. Uh, Sasha Baron Cohen did a great job at giving a comedic, very comical, um, role. American Psycho, released in 2000. This movie stars Christian Bale, who's utterly insane, as he claims. Um, it follows Patrick Bateman and his descent into madness, and he goes on a killing rampage, and that pretty much sums it up. But there's more of it. There is a plot twist, and I won't say what, but I just love this movie. Um, Christian Bale's performance is incredible. He poses as a perfect, crazy sicko. Um, <laughs> It's just so funny, and this is a comedy slash horror. I, it is very funny, um, and there's something about it. It looks good too, and it has many, um, a lot of cliches you'll see you see in modern television originated from this movie, such as the morning routine scene, and the um, just just his personality. It's funny. Pulp Fiction. Everybody loves Pulp Fiction. The 1994 Quentin Tarantino movie starring Samuel L. Jackson and what's his name? Oh yeah, John Travolta and Mae Thurman. Everybody loves and knows this movie. It's a classic. It has so many tropes that are used throughout Hollywood. Um, it's very recognizable, especially the cover of it. But this is just that has to be my third favorite movie of all time. It doesn't really, it's hard to explain the plot, but it's so crazy and it's so violent and so wonderful. That, and iconic. I just couldn't put it on this list. And I love this movie so much, too. It's one movie that kept me hooked to the towards the end. This is definitely top three worthy. Top one worthy, I'm not sure about that. But this is a phenomenal movie. No Country for Old Man. This movie, guys, is definitely pr probably my favorite movie of all time. Besides number one. This was so good. I see this actually like two weeks ago. This was phenomenal. The directing's amazing. It's super well written. There's so much stuff that's happening. Um, uh, it stars Tommy Lee Jones and Xavier Burdum, I think is his last name. I'm not sure, but he portrays a character known as Anton, and he's a complete psychopath. Zero backstory. He'll kill when he wants. He'll do whatever he wants. He's kind of like the cousins from Breaking Bad. He actually is like exactly like them, but he is just such a good character and i wish we could see another movie just like that i love that movie oh yeah woody harrison's in it too but i did something about it they did now the cohen brothers did direct a movie that i really don't like wonder what that is um but yeah um this movie it was just so good but not as good as number one which is Clockwork Orange, directed by Stanley Kubrick, released in 1971. The iconic movie, the controversial movie, I should say, released in 1971, follows the story of Alex, um, a statistic gang leader who gets um, imprisoned for all of his hurtful actions. Um, I won't say what the, but his terrible actions, because I don't want to spoil it. Um, and then he goes through this therapy to deprive him of all of his anger, and Instead of him hurting society, society starts to hurt him, and then um, his gang, um, his droogs, as he likes to call them, his droogs, his um, gang leaders that he was imprisoned, and now he's a, he thinks he's a good guy, or the police, the prison system thinks they released a good person into the world, which he kind of is now, but his gang um, members try to track him down and kill him, and they end up assaulting him. And he end up ends up um, going back to normal. It's a awesome adventure. It's such a good movie, dude. Um, it definitely my my favorite movie of all time. It was hard to put this or No Country of All Men, but I think this takes the cake. This was such a good movie. Um, 
definitely my favorite Stanley Kubrick movie as I've seen. I only seen three, and all three of them were on this list. Probably watch the Doctor Strange Love next. Um, I'm not really interested in his old work. Maybe, definitely not interested in um, Eyes Wide Shut. That's just not appealing. Um, not interested in any of his old 50s movies. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to subscribe. And all rights, um, if all the clips and photos in this video all go to their respectful owners. So please don't copyright me. Peace.